Today I'm going to review a Doctor Who story called Warriors of the Deep. Two. Waiting patiently for this day. Warriors of the Deep came out in 1984. It's from season 21 and this is the first story of that season. It was directed by Pennant Roberts and written by Johnny Byrne and the music was by Jonathan Gibbs. So the story says the return of the Sea Devils and the Silurians and this is their second appearance. The story had a hurried production. It lost two weeks studio space at the BBC. This was because of the general election and it's a poorly received story. However the story does have an interesting cast. Ingrid Pitsian she also was in The Time Monster, a John Pertway story, and Ian McCulloch, who's famous for his horror films such as Zombie Flesh Eaters. The story stars Peter Davison as the Fifth Doctor, Janet Fielden as Tegan, and Mark Strickson as Turlow. Um, Story-wise, it's interesting. Set on a nuclear submarine base in the year 2084, which was 100 years into the future, and the Sea Devils and Silurians are, are planning on the humans having a nuclear war and wiping everyone out. Them taking over what's left. So the Sea Devils and Silurians, they're redesigned as well. The Silurians look similar, just they um, have a stupid light in the forehead that lights up every time they talk. A bit like a bloody Dalek. But the Sea Devils look terrible. Awful design. In this story, it's classed as one of the worst in the series, and I, I understand why. It was bloody terrible. You can't just leave him! Face it, Tiger! He's drowned! Eh, hey, bloody hell, he was only in the bloody water two seconds! And that's before we get on to the murka, like a bloody pantomime horse walking about. Hey, <laughs> look at that bug of bones! <laughs> Good, we can't lift it! <laughs> hey, bloody hell, look at that bugger feel. <laughs> hey, that bloody murk is like a bloody pantomime horse. You expect bloody fucking Christopher Biggins to pop up next. Soft as bloody shit. And the regulars are dull, it's as though they know this story's a power one, so they're not putting much effort into it. The Everson's as bland as hell in it. It's a pity because there's a, a, a fairly good cast. There's Ingrid Pitt and Ian McCulloch, both of them have been in great horror films. But in this story, they're like stereotype villains. A hiss-hiss type of villain. So there's not much character in them. They're just villains and that's it. So it's a pity because on paper, this could have been a good story. It was a great idea team and the Sea Devils and the Silurians up, trying to create a nuclear war to destroy all of humanity so they could take over the planet. So a fairly good story. It's one of them where the production ruins a good story. The same thing happened in Paradise Towers. That's a good story on paper, but production-wise it was terrible. This is the same. There should have been another way. It's also too brightly lit, with it being a studio-bound story. It's way too bright. With a story like this, you need dark. Dark's moody lighting. When you compare it to the John Pertway story, The Sea Devils, it's like chalk and cheese. So there's some awful scenes that the murky, it's terrible. And then you get a wicked scene where Ingrid Pitt's character suddenly thinks she can do Kung Fu. And she tries to do Kung Fu on the murky. <laughs> Silly old sod gets killed. Yeah, the silly old bugger thinks she's Bruce Lee. <laughs> so John Nathan Turner produced some real rubbish stories in his time. He sort of like went downhill after season 18 and 19. Sort of like during the, the Davison era, he started off well, but you, you can tell that um, it's going downhill. <laughs> Apart from Kez of Androzani, and as you get on to the Colin Baker years and the Sylvester McCoy years, it doesn't half go downhill. So I know I bang on about Jodie Whittaker say her being crap, that there is quite a lot of crap stories made during the John Nathan Turner era. <laughs> hey Phil, why did Doctor Who turn crap in the 1980s? Yeah, I don't know, poor ones, but there is quite a few bad ones. 
So this is one of the worst stories I've seen. When you compare it to my previous review of the, the Sea Devils, I, I really enjoyed that one, but this one's terrible compared to it. So out of 10, I'm going to give this story zero. Aww. Rubbish. Don't crap. What did you think, Bones? Did you like it? Thought it was a load of bloody bollocks. Soft as bloody assholes. Okay, everybody, bye. See you next time. I'm just going to show you. What have you been eating? <laughs>